Hello everybody, just uh, chilling here with my new best friend Gary, and uh, what's that? You wanna go on a vacation, Gary? Okay. Yay! Have a nice trip. Hey, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Big Poppy, bringing you some more spicy data pack goodness. Today we got a suggestion from Held Their Studs, and uh, what he suggested is a scaffolding trident. Uh, so basically a trident where if you throw it, it'll leave a path of blocks behind for you to walk on. So today I'm going to try something a little bit special. We're going to do a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to see if I can do it in one command, and then I'm going to try to recreate a more complex version in five commands, and then I'm going to do a super complex version as a full data pack with an unlimited amount of commands. So let's see how this goes. So our first creation is super duper simple. We just flick this lever here, and now anytime we throw a trident, it'll leave a bridge behind. This thing is so simple, I, I guarantee any of you guys could easily make it in one of your own worlds. And because of that, I'm going to include a tutorial at the end of the video. And I'll even show you how to customize it, so you can change this out with literally any block you want. You can make it even lava if you wanted. With the 5 command version, we begin stepping things up a bit. Now, it's become its very own enchantment, which I call Contrail. Named after the streams of smoke that jets leave behind. Which the government uses to control your mind. This amped up version of the 1 command version has a thicker trail, cooler sound effects, and... After 10 seconds, the cloudy trail dissipates into smoke. This enchantment is amazing for bridging across areas quickly. It could definitely be super useful in PvP scenarios where bridging is extremely important. And on top of that, you can make some crazy looking arches. I mean, look at this thing. If you want to use this better version, I'll include the commands for it in the description, and I'll include it in the data pack, which I'll be showing you now. If you want to get the trident in this data pack, you better pack your fireworks, because we're going all the way up to Y equals 1000. Once you've flown far higher than you'd ever reasonably want to, you can throw your trident, and a sky bandit will steal it from you. If you want to get it back, you have to kill him. But be warned, he's got really strong armor and your own trident to use against you. He has a fairly predictable attack pattern. Every three seconds, he'll redirect and start lunging at you. If you get too far above him, he'll begin jumping up at you in order to catch up. After you defeat him, you'll get your trident back, and it'll now have a fresh new enchantment, Flipstream. This enchantment works a lot different than the other. When you throw the trident, it'll make a sort of vortex, and when it lands, it'll activate, and you can tell when it's activated by this blue trail going through the center. And with this slipstream right here, you can step into it, and it'll transport you through it. Now as you saw in the intro, this works not only on players, but on all entities as well. So if we see this armor stand here, he just gets yeeted through it. I just love watching that, that never gets old. This can be used as a sort of defensive measure. If something's chasing you and you just want it to get away, you can lure it into your own slipstream. And then bada boom, bada bing, look at that sucker. Haha, <laughs> he's just gone. Of course, it's also an extremely uh, efficient form of travel. But honestly, who cares about efficiency? I want to see cool tricks. Like, take for example this creeper. I can hit him with the, the slipstream. Bam, pulls me into him, hit him with the old one-two. Oh. <clears throat> so we take this creeper, and we hit him with the trident. Then boom, hit him with the 1-2, boom, dead. Also, let's take a moment to admire this sick animation. Like, you thought the contrail arches were cool? I mean, look at this. Mmm, juicy. And if you want to get really fancy, it even carries arrows. And uh, when they come out the other end, they will carry any momentum they had beforehand. So, I can shoot an arrow through it. And did I hit that armor stand over there? Oh my gosh, I did it! If you install the data pack, it comes with the contrail enchantment as well, already built in. All you have to do is much similar to the slipstream enchantment. You only have to go up to Y equals 300 and toss your trident, and a weaker version of the bandit will appear. He has the exact same attack patterns, but weaker armor, so he's easier to kill. I should also note that when he steals your trident, it keeps all of its data, so if you changed its name or already had some enchantments on it, then it'll keep all of that, those when you kill him. But if it already had the contrail or slipstream enchantment on it, then you won't be able to add another one of these special enchantments onto it. If you want to make your own version of the contrail enchantment, then stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it in only one command in both Java and Bedrock. And I'm also going to show you how you can modify it yourself and play around with it. So starting off in Java, we're going to have to give ourselves a command block. And to do that, we say slash give at s minecraft command block. Now when we place this down, we want to switch it to repeat and always active. So it means that's running 20 times per second. So what we're going to write is execute as at e type equals trident at at s. What we're saying here is we're going to do run the commands from the trident's perspective at the trident's location. Now what we're going to add inside these little brackets right here is an nbt tag dealt damage 0b. And what this will do is make it make it so if you're using a loyalty trident, it won't run the command if it's on its way back. Now we're going to run the actual command. So we're going to do run fill 
and then tilde, uh, these squiggly lines, these mean uh, relative coordinates. So we're going to try negative 0 0.5, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, then 0 0.5, and then we're going to do negative 1.5 and positive 0 0.5. Then we can put right here any block we want. We could put lava, it could be glass. Uh, for the purposes of this, I'm going to try glass. And the most important part here is we write keep after it. And this means that if there's any blocks already there, it won't delete them. So let's see how we did. We click done. We throw this trident. Boom. We have ourselves an instant glass bridge. And you don't have to stop there either. We could replace this with lava. Stupid wandering villager. Or we could even change the size if we wanted. Heck, we could even change this to arrows. If we change the type to arrow, every bow we shoot will leave behind a lava trail. I recommend you guys experiment with this. Uh, this is the best way to learn new commands. Just have fun with it and try different things. You could even try TNT if you want. Maybe add a second command that places redstone next to the TNT. And guess what, Bedrock folk? I'm finally showing you guys some love. If you want to make this in your Bedrock world, we start off the same way as we do with the Java. We start with slash give at s command block. And very similar to the old one, we want to make it repeating and always active. Now, Bedrock syntax is a little bit different. So for this one, we do slash execute at e type equals throne trident. And then we do three tildes because that gives it the position. And then from here on out, it's basically the same thing. We do fill negative 0 0.5, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0 0.5, negative 1.5. 0.5 and for this one you know what we'll do tnt okay let's test and see how we did oh baby i think it worked you know what let's just throw this a couple more times while we're at it and what's the point in having all this tnt if we aren't just gonna detonate a little bit oh man what have i done <laughs> so um, if you're looking for an easy way to detonate a friend's world um i, I got a little something for you if you're struggling with these for whatever reason, you can find both of the commands in the description, as well as the data pack download if you're on Java. Once again, thanks for watching, and I just want to say huge thanks for all the positive feedback we've been getting. Like, uh, I, I don't get it. At this point, I, I feel like I could probably attest to having one of the friendliest comment sections on the site. And I don't know what I did to deserve you guys. And I just want you guys to know that I'm really appreciative of all the kind comments and support. And especially the ideas too. You guys are keeping this channel alive by feeding me your ideas. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, because I have some big things planned, then uh, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel to grow a lot. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.